Hi, and welcome to the section of the derivative tutor. And uh, this section, we're going to cover what we call the quotient rule of taking derivatives. So up until now, we've covered basic derivatives, basic polynomials. And then after that, we covered what do you do when you have two functions multiplied by one another, you know, f of x times g of x, where they can be any old functions you want, and we knew what to do with, to do with that. In this section, we're going to learn how do we handle when we have two functions divided by one another. And you'll see that it looks really lengthy, and it is a little bit lengthy, but it's very bulletproof, and it's, it's quite easy once you know how to do it. So, if you have two functions, let's say, uh, one of these functions is f of x, and the other of these functions is g of x. So these could be anything. This could be x squared. This could be x plus 2x plus 5. Uh, later on, when we get into trigonometric stuff, this could be sine of x, this could be cosine of x, could be any functions that you like. Then, if you're going to take the derivative of what we call the quotient, so we'll have f of x divided by g of x. So we just take these two functions and divide them by one another. Take the derivative, that's what this means. Then, the way you do that is as follows. So, let me close this parenthesis off. g of x. So what you have is the bottom function, g of x, times the derivative of the top function, f prime of x, minus the top function, f of x, times the derivative of the bottom function, g of x. And then you draw a big division bar over the whole thing, and the bottom is g of x. Now, just to make it clear, I'll put it in brackets, the whole thing squared. So this is what we call the quotient rule. You'll definitely see this in your calculus book. The notation might be a little bit different. I'm using the prime notation for derivatives. You can write it in terms of, you know, uh, dy dx notation or df dx notation if you want to. But this is, I think, a little bit more clear about what you're doing. Really what you're doing is if you have two functions divided by one another, you take the bottom one times the derivative of the top one minus the top one times the derivative of the bottom one and divide the whole thing by the bottom one squared. All right, so we're going to do a few problems here and we'll see how to use it, but I'm going to give you a little sneak peek here. This quotient rule is really nothing more than the product rule that we learned in the last section in disguise. In other words, if you think about it for a minute, if you're dividing two things, you can rewrite that as a multiplication of the top times 1 over the bottom. It's like, a, it's like a fraction thing. f of x times 1 over g of x. They can be multiplied together. So if you do the product rule on those two things, f of x times 1 over g of x, you do the product rule, which is first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. If you do that and simplify it, what you're going to get is this. So this is not really anything new. It's really just a little bit easier to follow in a bulletproof manner rather than using the product rule all the time on these guys when they're divided because you have that fraction in there. So again, you need to memorize it because it'll make your life really easy. And, and, and you may have your own ways of memorizing it. The way I do it is bottom times the derivative of the top minus the top times the derivative of the bottom over the bottom squared. All right, so let's go and see how we apply this guy. I'm going to leave it up there on the board. And so for our first problem, let's say we have a function y is equal to 4t plus 5 divided by 2 minus 3t. So you see this is a quotient uh, because we're basically dividing two things. The numerator is a function. This is what it is. The denominator is a 